Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of IELTS Energy TV. Remember that we also have an IELTS podcast, which is published three times a week. It, it is also called IELTS Energy. You can subscribe on iTunes or anywhere that you get your podcasts. You can check out all of our episodes and articles on IELTS.AllEarsEnglish.com. Okay, what are we talking about today? Um, so, last time we talked about some difficult music questions in speaking part one. Today we're going to talk about some difficult uh, future questions in speaking part three. We've, I've done some videos about how to brainstorm, how to talk about the future, but I'm going to hone in on a specific future function that uh, does make students nervous sometimes in speaking part three. So. These questions uh, specifically focus on a future without something, okay? A future without libraries, without books, without teachers. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna uh, talk about today and I'm going to give you my own sample answers. All right, so um, one question that you might see in speaking part three, um, do you think that libraries will still exist in the future? And my answer would be, again guys, just like the last video, I am glancing down at my notes today. In order to work in this vocabulary, I think you would find useful. Okay, so my answer would be, um, you know, I, I'm a huge sci-fi fan and I, I super love Star Trek The Next Generation. So anytime I picture a future in which we can get anything we need in our homes, I picture the device which you can see on the Star Trek on the on the Enterprise ship. And this machine fits flush into the wall in the cabin in which you live on the on the ship, and you can get anything. So as far as libraries go, libraries go, I picture that from this machine, we could also get books, right? And I'm not talking about like eBooks and tablets and all that stuff, right? Everybody thinks that is the future, but I think in the future, people will still like to, to hold a book and turn the pages. So you could go up to the machine in your room and you can just order up a book and um, it'll just, it'll pop out in like two seconds. So yeah, that's how I picture. Yeah, sad that libraries will disappear, but people will still enjoy reading books. Okay, so um, the next question is more specifically about books, but I am gonna take the answer in a different direction. So the IELTS part three question might be, do you believe that books will still exist in the future? And I would say, um, no way in a million years will books disappear. Um, I, you know, I'm coming from the perspective of a lifelong reader. And I, I know that not all societies encourage this. This isn't a given habit in a lot of cultures and places around the world. But I hope that all societies are going to develop a habit of reading in the future. Um, you know, w the reason why I think books are and always will be so important is because they allow one to enjoy quote unquote me time, right? That's what I get out of books. Not only is it a chance for me to enjoy spending time by myself, but it allows me to place myself in a world that I would normally never get to experience. So it, to sum up, I think that yeah, books are always going to be a major loved, adored passion of people for all time. <laughs> okay, so that the, I did go to a bit. Um, there were some extremes in that answer. I <laughs> I will uh, in the blog post for this video. I'll link to another video about going to extremes. You can look that up on this YouTube channel as well. Okay. So another question, which is a little more recent, it, uh, I've had some listeners ask me how to answer this. Um, in the future, do you think that there will still be human drivers? So you know that robots have been coming up a lot, right? So this is related to that topic. So 
I would say. Uh, well, I think a lot of people are fearful of this, but I think as long as all cars are automated, not a mixture of robots, computers, and humans, but all automated, then yeah, for sure. Um, despite the poor showings of companies like Uber recently and Google, there's been a lot of bad press about car automated car crashes. Despite all that, um, this, uh, this idea suits my vision of the future future because I envision sort of highways in the sky, right? Um, no, we're not going to need human drivers because we're all going to be in um, spaceships flying around <laughs> from house to house. Um, so yeah, totally. We're, it's, everything's going to be automated and robots are going to free us up to just read our books while we commute anywhere. <laughs> Okay, so guys, as always, I am going to post the um, uh, the best vocabulary that I used below this video, so check that out, as well as choosing three to four of these phrases to use in your own answers to these IELTS speaking part three questions. Okay, guys, if you are ready to learn everything that the examiner is looking for in the speaking and the writing exam, check out our course, Three Keys IELTS. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.